there's a joke that goes like this. Did you hear that biologists have started doing tests on lawyers instead of rats? It seems that A, the biologists grew less attached to the rats, and B, there are some things even a rat won't do. <laughs> now, this is funny because we as Americans acknowledge a certain distaste for our own litigiousness. So suppose your proverbial, hypothetical, or real child participated in a mock trial, came home insisting that he or she wanted to become a personal injury lawyer someday. What would you say to encourage or discourage your proverbial or hypothetical or real child from this aspiration? Art test time. <laughs> you cover all the people without duties? <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth's still catching up. Uh, Let's see. As I understand the question, to paraphrase it, how would I react and what would I respond to if that child of mine came to me and advised me that he wanted to become that lawyer of sorts? Is that the question? Good God, that's a terrible question. <laughs> First of all, I probably my initial reaction would be just what I said. Good God, is that what I've raised? <laughs> Did they not understand those values and virtues that I bestowed on them in those earlier days when I lectured them about the good things? But then seriously, then I would flip and say, you know, for every good lawyer or every bad lawyer, there's a very good one. For those that are committed to the dollar, there's also those that are out there for justice and the American way. So I would hope that what I would do is direct them, first of all, to respond in an affirmative that if that's your passion, if that's your life, if that's your longing, if that's what you really want to do in life, then pursue it with all vigor. But then I would go about trying to direct them in the stream of the path of righteousness. Thank you. <laughs>